In this video, I'm going to integrate ragdoll physics into gameplay. We already have the basics for the ragdoll setup. Check my other video in the playlist. Today, I'm going to set up a scriptable object that is going to trigger the ragdoll in the middle of a death animation. So first, let me go into the death folder. I'm going to create a script called trigger ragdoll. Go in there. I'm going to press Control T to look for another scriptable object and copy the format. Change the name to Trigger Ragdoll. And get rid of everything. The usual stuff. And I'll also put this under the death section. I'm going to have a public variable that decides when you turn on the trigger, when you turn on the ragdoll. So I'll call it trigger timing. And when you're in the update, first let me get character control. And I want to check the time between from the state info. Compare the time to the trigger timing that we designate. And if we're past the timing, I want to go into character control and turn on ragdoll. This is the function that we created in our previous video. And I only want to do this once, so I'm going to press Control T, go into Animation Progress, and add a public variable called Ragdoll Triggered. Go back to Trigger Ragdoll. And if that variable it's not turned on. We say we triggered the ragdoll and then the variable will be true. At the end of the animation, we'll set it back to false. So now I'm going to go back to Unity. I'll create a separate folder called Ragdoll. Put all my Ragdoll stuff in there. And I'm going to create a scriptable object, Trigger Ragdoll. And this will be for one of the death animations. For example, the fallback death animation, I think. That's what it was called, falling back. I'll match the names. And for now, I'm just going to try 30%. So when the animation goes at 30%, the ragdoll physics is going to be turned on. I'm going to go into the falling back animator. Add a character state and add the ability falling back trigger. So now if I click play and if I trigger the falling back death animation, we see that the ragdoll physics is being turned on. Let me turn off AI for now. Let me play again with the AI turned off.
it seems to be working, but when we turn on ragdoll physics, it looks like the body parts are going back to the default state. So the transition is not very smooth. I'm gonna look for the script in the body parts, in one of the body parts. So every body part has something called the trigger detector. And here I wanna save the last position of each of the body parts. So I'll have a public variable called last position, as well as another public variable called last rotation. And then I'm going to go into character control where the function is for turning on ragdoll physics. Here it is. And before we turn it on, I want to get every collider for the ragdoll part. And for each of them, I want to get the trigger detector. And I want to save the last position of the local position and the local rotation of the body part. And when we turn off the animation and the skin mesh animator, we set all of the positions back to the last position that it was in. So even after we're turning off everything here, by doing this, all the body parts are set back to where they were in the middle of the animation. So I'm going to save everything, go back to Unity, and I'm going to attack the enemy one more time. Okay, so the animation ends and the ragdoll physics kicks in. It's kind of working, but we saw that the ragdoll body part is hitting the player and launching the player into the air. We don't want that. I want to change the layer for the enemy once it's dead. So I'm going to go into the layer changer. This is from one of my previous videos. I'm going to add a new layer called dead body. I'm going to press control T and look for the layer adder editor and set up the default collision boxes. So the dead body layer is going to interact with the default, but the dead body is not going to interact with the character and ground is part of default. So save, go back. I'm gonna go into my layer adder, little tool that I created. And if I click on the buttons again, so here we have the default settings for physics. I'm going to go back to character control and when we turn on ragdoll I want to change the layer for the character so I want to get all the transforms and for each of the transforms I want to change the layer I can get the layer index by using the name. I think this is the function. 
So here we're changing layers. We save body part positions. Turn off things like animator, the avatar, etc. And then we finally turn on Rango. So save everything, go back to Unity and click play. I'm going to attack one more time. So we see that the dead body is no longer hitting the player. Let me just try again because ragdoll physics can be unpredictable. So the dead body is bouncing off the platform. That doesn't really look right, but I don't want to do too many things in one video. I think I'm going to continue on and add some more details in the next video. So that's it for today. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you next time.